Hello. Hi. Uh, so today we are chatting about the open air theater production of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ Superstar. <laughs> Jesus Christ Superstar. We didn't know much about it uh, before, but then we watched uh, one day before going to the theater, we watched the movie. Uh, of course, uh, I can say straight away that I like this production much better than the movie. Yeah. But uh, the thing is that it was a movie from the 80s, so like, it's the type of thing mm -hmm. that maybe people from the 80s would find edgy and interesting to see in the cinema. Yeah, and it's very low budget, very small yeah. production, so like same people, the same costume, the same scenario. I liked that we did see the movie before watching the show, yes. because I feel that, well, usually the concept of this show is that it is a sort of a concert, so it's it, 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 like this production, they had microphones as many other productions, Sometimes they're just like singing to the audience, not to like each other yeah. or to themselves or like to more like sequence of yeah. performance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I liked my experience of going to it, knowing the soundtrack before mm -hmm. and a little bit at least. It feels that like the main thing is not to tell the story itself, it's yeah. more to present those numbers and uh, those songs like yeah such catchy songs yeah so good so easy to Music listen to them so in any case jesus christ superstar tells the story of the last week of jesus right uh so yeah. most of it i think is faithful to the to the original story uh i think people could argue that all of it is faithful to to the original story but yeah in terms of what happens yes but like in terms of like the character's yeah, motivation exactly that's exactly. where like the revision of the story of the history comes like judas is actually portrayed as not being the bad guy who uh, is uh but well he is kind of the bad guy but it shows a, little, a more a lot of his admiration for jesus yeah. a lot of like Jesus' complicity and all the things that happened, and actually the the story for me is like more about Judas and his relation to for everybody. Jesus. I think. Yeah, like he's no, he's the main character for sure. And it shows Jesus Christ as a superstar, so that's the fun part. Where like, well, he's like a rock star, like he's adored and has like followers. It reminds me a lot of Evita because Evita is also about a famous person adored by the the public mm -hmm. and also the ending is not as happy as we would expect yeah andrew lloyd Webber is not my favorite composer but uh it's not like he's a bad composer of course yeah. not but this is one of the good ones that's that's yes. the thing yes, yes. so uh, yeah I, yeah truly really liked it yeah yeah i honestly liked it i didn't I, I was honestly expecting that it would be cats yeah uh because like cats i didn't get it before watching it and then i saw it and then i, I I still don't get it. I just don't like it. I think it's boring. I think it's a waste of <laughs> resources. Uh, but no, this one is good, and I do. I can't understand why. Like I just, yeah. I just came out of it feeling so hopeful and so with so much joy, and uh, and like it, it felt like a true experience, right? yeah, true musical experience, a true, true yeah. musical experience, especially our experience, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so we bought tickets to see it on the last week of the run of the, 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 the it's the second run, right? It's the is this summer's run, uh, and, and we Regent bought tickets Forum. to see on the last Monday, and then we went to see it. Yes. And 20 minutes before the ending, uh, the rain started. Then the rain started, and actually they had to stop the to cancel that performance because the stage was starting to get wet and S slippery. slippery yeah. So that would be dangerous for the performers. For the performers. Yeah, I mean, we could wear rain jackets, yeah. but uh, yeah. it would be like it's especially the crazy choreography. So nice. No, yes, like, amazing. Like choreography. modern choreography. Like they're all like like rappers. I don't know. Is a yeah very laid laid back style. Marginal. So much yeah. that Jesus smokes. Yes. <laughs> so there's this scene. A like, lot of blasphemies around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's very amazing. Yeah. yeah. As human as it can get. So then we went back on Thursday, and luckily yeah. we got to see it through, yeah. through the end. Yes. And I was so happy because I felt that those last 20 minutes were my favorite ones. 
I loved the end Very there. Very important. Yeah. So we st we had stopped just at the end of can could we start again or can we start again? Or yeah. Something? So that was before uh, Jesus uh, Judas suicide, and uh, yeah, and that's where it's a turning point, I guess, yeah, yeah, where yeah. things start sure. to get tense mm -hmm. and awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and uh, and it was good also because when we saw it on Monday, we had uh, an understudy. So Phil King was a standby understudy, or whatever mm -hmm. for Jesus. So it wasn't Declan Bennett. Yeah. So I had yeah. heard many good things about Declan Bennett. So when it wasn't him, it was like okay, like it, of course the play is still good, but I wanted to see him. Yes. So it was nice that we went back on Thursday and we did get to see yeah. him in the end. Somewhere on Twitter, I saw that it was the his first performance. Mm -hmm. So we attended his first time as Jesus. Yes. And, and I think he actually didn't got to die in the end. He didn't Jesus. get to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And some things like uh, you could see that it was his first time doing. Yeah, like, it was you know, very. He was like very conscious of like self conscious, yeah, like trying to get his. Like. Yeah, he was like trying to get his markings, like his positions right, and like where to go when. And but when it started, like his song, yeah, the so it's uh, get some aim, get some aim. It's him uh, accepting that he's gonna die. So, like, it, yes. it reminds me of Harry Potter, like, in the end, <laughs> when he accepts that he, he'll die, then yes. he's done, he's done. Yes. So, that's the thing, like, he's, he's talking to, to God, God. Yeah. his father, and that's where he he showed what he's got shown yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was great. He was great in the song, but uh, the, and the whole number is quite good. Mm -hmm. But uh, but in any case, then we did get to see Declan, yeah. and he's really good. Amazing. He's really good. Mm -hmm. He's a great actor, like great singer. Yeah, but yeah, at the same time, like the the character, I feel that it's that some scenes I would expect to see more emotion. Uh huh. And I don't, you know, like when he yeah. gets. Like so many examples, like when he gets to the market thing and everybody's like doing bad things and yeah. then he starts Which is an amazing scene right yeah, 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 yeah. And then like he's saying like get out, get out, get out and like I, I like the voice was telling me like get out, it was like this very high pitched noise, but I felt that like the face, like the body's mm -hmm. like but that's a choice of the production because both actors did the same way. Maybe because also the film got like the movie yeah, production yeah. got it. Maybe those it was moments, very it yeah emphasized those True. moments a lot. And, Probably. And used like a lot of close-ups to show that yeah. or like I, yeah, that that is true. Somebody, because that, that, that yeah. that's what happened with the Vita. Like with Evita in the musical, so, some things are not very explained and then in mm -hmm. the movie they take a long time to explain things to mm -hmm. make it easier to mm -hmm. understand. So maybe because we saw the movie first then we, we we kind of got used to a, an easy way of getting the story told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yes. But at times I felt like that the sang through was uh, annoyed me a little bit. Like mm -hmm. it felt like yeah, a little bit scattered. Like like the one song start uh, finished and then there's another song starting. Uh, there's no connection. There like it feels like there's something missing or some connection. Some. Uh, tra scene transitions that I thought could have been uh, most uh, sung through musicals they have uh, spoken scenes through music mm -hmm. so like Les Mis has that a lot so they have yeah. like musical numbers and sometimes character are, characters are speaking to each other but they are singing yeah so, I but this know. one no this one this felt one, like yeah. everything was yeah, very exactly. this one doesn't like even Evita does they, they talk a bit mm -hmm. but this one no so maybe that's what you felt but I don't have a favorite song they're all so good yeah. Christ you know I love you did you see I wait I believe in you and God, so tell me that I'm saved. Yeah, so in the in the in the movie when they sing that song that I don't remember the name, then really looks like they're they're on drugs or something yes. because it's hard to get crazy. Touch me, touch me, Jesus. Yes. Uh, that one I preferred in the in the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the movie I liked that one and then Superstar for sure. Like, yeah. actually, Judas is the one who comes back from the dead. Actually. True. He was the yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then one of the the most well known songs is Mary's. Uh, I don't know, know how, how to, to love, love me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the yeah, that's great. Yeah, but in this production, it was a very different approach. The song I thought. Playing the guitar yeah. alone in very the folky. very yeah very folky and very 
storytelling. It's exactly. not so confessional. It's not so yeah. It feels like troubled. it's not personal. It feels it's not personal. Yeah. Like she's singing yeah. a song, a nice song, and that's interesting yeah. because she's not. She's an artist. Yeah. She's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. It wasn't what what I was expecting. So I want her to try her heart out mm-hmm. because I haven't seen that on stage. She's great. She's yes. so good. She's, She's so, so good. Yes. Maimuna Memon. So we mm-hmm. saw her. We saw her in Lazarus. Then I saw her in the mm-hmm. Heather's the musical. Uh, I mean the workshop the production. Workshop. She was really good. But this one is like yeah, her best. Yeah. Totally stole the scene every time she came. Yeah. And she has control over her voice. She's perfect. she's doing what she wants. Like. Both performances, accuracy, power, spot on, moves, yeah. moves, really moving, and really wow, yeah, yeah. caliber. I want to yeah. see her like in a big role. I want, yeah, soon enough. Yes, uh, and oh of God. course the Tyrone, Tyrone, Tyrone Huntley as Judith was our yeah. wow. He's, he's really, amazing. Oh my God, he's so deserved. We are actually we already all saw her in uh, Dreamgirls before, doing a yeah. very different yeah. role. Uh, the character is very small and cute, and now he's like angry and yeah. trouble, and so much potency in his in his voice and his acting. He makes yeah. you he makes you understand G- uh, Judas so much, like yeah. so much more than what I got from the movie, like. In his mind, he's like, I'm doing the right thing. This is so difficult for me. I'm betraying, you know, my my leader, my friend. Yeah. But this is what has to be done. Yeah. So I'll do it. And then you can feel this guilt and purpose at the same time. Mm-hmm. And in the end, he just can't deal with it. And then he, again, does a Les Mis impersonation as <laughs> Javert and kills himself <laughs> yeah. because he can't handle the guilt. Yeah. Uh, and then in the end, he blames God, right? He says, yeah. like, why did you chose me? Be responsible you for your me. crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's really like what it, I like the most about the, the play that is like, it's a revision, it's a retelling of the story. It's like critical of some things. Like, it shows like how some conspiracy theories would have worked in fact like oh Mary Magdalene and Jesus Christ had an affair like it shows this but it's at the same time it's not like an anti-christian or anti-religious or like it's like respectful yeah, yeah. And, it's, mm-hmm. and the show is not clear that she has an affair with Jesus like she she's uh when she's taking care of him and she's saying I don't know how to love him but you could interpret that yeah. A, uh, yeah yeah could argue that also Judah's feelings for Jesus they are stronger than just a follower. Yes. He's a gay lover and then he was jealous of Mary and that's why he betrayed him. And maybe that's true. Yeah. I mean uh, there are new nuances of interpretation. Yeah. Like they... Peter Caulfield. Herod. Yeah. Yes. That scene was... The drag um, scene. <laughs> <laughs> queer performance of the night. Yeah. So yeah, I really liked, yes. I'm so happy that I saw this production. Yes, it made a lot of sense to watch this play yeah. in an open air theater True. in the Regent Park. It was very... Such a nice experience. We definitely want to go back next year. Yeah. It's four stars yes. for me, for sure. Yes, yeah, it was great. That. I got goosebumps <laughs> in the final moments, like in the final songs. It was just beautiful. Like I don't know, I still don't know how you made me love so much to see this story told as a musical, I did not expect it to be so good. For me as well, it's like four stars, really well done, really fresh, new uh, view on the like story that was sold so many times. Jesus Christ, Jesus superstar. Christ, superstar. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Christ superstar. superstar. <laughs> Jesus Christ, superstar. <laughs> What's the bus? Tell me what's happening. What's the bus? Tell me what's happening. What's the bus? Tell me what's happening. What's the bus? Tell me what's happening.